Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video on the truth in lending, we're going to look at determining an APR. First, let's talk about what an APR is. An APR is an acronym for Annual Percentage Rate. The APR is the true annual interest rate. All sellers must disclose the APR when you ask and the contract must state the APR even if you don't ask. While you do not have to calculate the APR yourself, you might want to double check your quote anyway. Okay, so a little bit more about the APR and how we calculate it. On the next slide, there's a table, and it's designed to apply to loans requiring monthly payments between 60, 6 and 60 months. The table provides three different quantities. We have the APR, which is the true annual interest rate, N, which is the total number of scheduled monthly payments, and H, which is the finance charge per $100 of amount financed. And here is the very scary looking table, but we're going to go through it step by step and it's going to be okay. Okay, so the first column here, this is the number of monthly payments. It ranges from six months to 60 months. Then the top row we see, this is the true APR. So that's actually the last thing that we're going to look at when we're looking at these examples. Um, the next thing we want to do is based on the number of monthly payments, we want to calculate the H value for the loan amount per $100. And usually they, they are almost never exactly what we see in this table. We just find the value that it's closest to. So for example, if we have 12 months and we come up with a value of an H value of 4.39, that is equivalent to an 8% APR rate. That's what that means. So we look for the value that's the closest. Maybe it wasn't exactly 4.39. Maybe it was 4.3 or 4.30. 4.30 would still be closest to 4.39 at that 12 month when n is equal to 12. So we'll, we'll see this table. Hopefully it makes more sense when we actually look at examples. Let's start with the Griffins. The Griffins paid $1,200 down on a $4,000 patio and agreed to pay the balance at a 6% add-on rate for three years. Let's find the APR for their loan. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to calculate the amount financed. To do that, we're going to take the purchase price, $4,000, and subtract the down payment, $1,200. So they are financing $2,800 of this patio. Okay, the next thing we want to do is calculate the finance charge or the interest. It says 6% add-on for three years, and remember with add-on interest, that refers back to simple interest. So we would calculate the interest by doing P times R times T where that big P, that's the amount financed. So it's gonna be interest or finance charge is the amount financed, 2,800, times the interest rate, 0 0.06, times the number of years, three, and we figure out that they are paying $504 in interest. Okay, the next thing we look for is we look for the finance charge per $100 of amount financed. And to do that, we take the finance charge, that's 504, we divide it by the amount financed, 2,800, and we multiply by 100. When I do that, I get 18 on the button. Okay, so 18 is our H value. This right here is our H value. Now we wanna look at the table, and what are we looking at? We're looking at three years, but we need it in months. So N is the number of months, that would be the number of years times 12, so our N value is 36. So N is 36, we're looking for the H value that's closest to 18 in the row of 36. So here's the row of 36. This is what we're looking at. We're looking here for the value that's closest to 18. So we have 17.86 and we have 18.71. Which one of those is closer to 18? That would be 17.86, so I'm gonna erase this. So then what we do is we determine the APR by going straight up to the top, and this is in the 11% column. So that indicates to us that the APR for their loan is 11%. So 11, a 6% add-on for three years is equivalent to an APR of 11%. That seems awfully high, doesn't it? Let's look at an, another example. After a down payment on your new motorcycle, you still owe $5,382. You agree to repay the balance in 48 monthly payments of $130 each. What is the APR of your loan? This one, the information is given in a slightly different way. The first thing we need to figure out is the amount of interest. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna figure out how much you're actually paying based on this information. So you're paying 48 monthly payments of $130. So we're gonna multiply those together 
48 times 130, and you're ultimately paying $6,240, okay? But you only owed $5,382, so the finance charge or the interest is going to be the total amount that you're gonna pay minus what you actually owe. And when we calculate this, we end up with $858. So the finance charge is $858. So this is the finance charge. Okay, so now what do we need? We need to calculate the H value. To calculate the H value, we're gonna take the finance charge and divide it by the amount financed, which would be, this is the amount financed. And we're gonna multiply by 100 because we need to figure out per $100 what this uh, equals to. I get approximately 16.94. Okay, so we're looking for 16.94 where in the table? At 48 months. So 48 months, we're looking for the closest value we can to 16.94. 48 months is down here. And remember what we were looking for? 16.94. So 16.94, there's 16.06, there's 17.18. 17.18 is gonna be closer to 16.94. Then we go straight up the column and we see that that's an APR of 8%. So the a APR on this loan is 8%. That's way better, the Griffins got a bad deal. Okay, here are two more examples. You should pause the video, try these two, see how you do, and then we'll go over them. Let's first talk about Clark. Clark buys a boat, yay for Clark. It's $18,000, yikes. He puts $5,000 down and agrees to pay 6% add-on interest over the next five years. What is the APR on his loan? Okay, so some crucial information here. Um, 18,000, but he put 5,000 down, so how much did he finance? That would be 18,000 minus 5,000, that is 13,000. Okay, so what's the next thing we need to do? We wanna figure out the finance charge. So the finance charge is gonna be calculated by taking, so this is the amount financed. Just labeling all my things. The finance charge is the amount financed times the interest, or sorry, times the interest rate agreed upon, which would be 0 0.06, times the number of years. And when you multiply this through, we end up with 3,900. Okay, so now we wanna figure out the H value. To determine the H value, we need to figure out the finance charge per $100. So we take the finance charge, we divide it by the amount financed, and we multiply it by 100. And when we do that, we end up with 30. So then we go to our table, and whoops, wait a minute, just kidding. Don't go to the table yet because I forgot the years, or the months. It says five years, so we need our N value, which is gonna be the number of years times 12 to convert it to months. So we're talking about 60 months. So we have 60 months is one thing we need to keep in mind and an H value of 30. So H is 30. Here's 60 months along the bottom. Which value is closest to 30? We have 28.96, we have 30.45. I think that's gonna be the winner here. We go up that column and we see that that's equivalent to an APR of 11%. So the APR on Clark's loan is 11%. Ooh, it's as bad as the Griffins, isn't it? Let's see if Jackie did better. Jackie purchased a dining room set and still owes $2,610. She agrees to pay $230 monthly for the next 12 months. What is the APR on her loan? Okay, so she owes so the amount financed is gonna be given by, we're given that information, $2,610. The amount that she's paying is $230 times 12 for 12 months. And when we multiply 230 by 12, we end up with 2,760. So what's the interest or the finance charge? The finance charge is gonna be the difference between the amount she's paying and the fi amount financed. So it's gonna be found by subtracting 2,760 by 2,610, and that difference is 150. Okay, so now we're ready to determine the H value. The H value, that's the amount financed per $100.
we take the finance charge, divide it by the amount financed, and multiply that value by 100. When I do that, I get approximately 5.75. Okay, so I have my age value. What's my end value? My end value is the number of months. 12 months it was already given in months. So we're going to look at the 12 months. And what was the value again? It was 5.75. So our age value is 5.75. Which one comes closest to that? Ooh, this is really, really close. So she's getting an APR of 10.5%. So Jackie's 10.5% APR for her dining room set. You did great. These were examples of calculating APR, the true APR, when we have add-on interest. Thank you for stopping by.